Prime Minister of Dominica, Roosevelt Skerritt, was moved to tears as he spoke directly to the public for the first time on the status of his country in the wake of a destructive Category 5 Hurricane Maria, noting that several regional and international governments have already come to Dominica's aid. He indicated he would be making a strong case to the wider international community for further assistance. Speaking live on ABS TV in Antigua, Prime Minister Skerritt had to pause for a few minutes to compose himself as he reflected on the destruction he has seen so far and what it will take to bring relief to the Dominican people. His voice broke and he wiped tears from his eyes as he described a country in which no own soul, regardless of income level, was left untouched by the punishing winds and deluge of water brought to the island as the Eye of Maria passed directly over the island on a Monday night. Every part of Dominica has received a serious beating, if not by wind, then by water, he said. What's the most immediate need now, Prime Minister, um, in terms um, of the relief effort? We need a lot of um, tapulins and um, supplies. It's, it's a difficult, it's, it's really an extraordinarily difficult uh, moment for Prime Minister Skerritt, uh, who, as he said, has uh, given us the opportunity uh, to share with share his story with the world and uh, the nature isle has been an extraordinarily resilient country um, you would have heard yesterday from hartley henry the prime minister's uh, uh, the prime minister's principal advisor telling abs how difficult it is and obviously it has been an extraordinarily difficult moment for the prime minister um, water for the people um, food supplies um, tarpaulins some blankets um, urgently Prime Minister and, and our viewers on TV and online would, uh, uh, would understand that we are taking a moment for the Prime Minister to uh, collect himself again because, as I said, just telling the story is an extraordinarily difficult thing for the Prime Minister. So far, 15 persons had been buried, with persons reported missing and more areas still to be visited. But while the death toll is expected to climb, Prime Minister Skerritt said it is a miracle that there were not hundreds of deaths. Prime Minister Skerritt said he is completely committed to getting Dominica the financial aid that it needs from international partners. Unfortunately, we had to wait for Irma and Maria to let the world understand what we have been saying to them for a long Long time that we are very vulnerable we are exposed to the ravages of climate change we need access to resources to build more resilient societies and countries we have been playing our part but the extent of the resources required to put in the mitigation systems is beyond us Peeps, this is really and truly heartbreaking. It is incredibly sad to know that <laughs> um, our Caribbean brothers are have been faced with these disasters in recent weeks. And as Jamaicans, we often take a lot of things for granted. I mean, it has been one of the most active hurricane seasons in recent memory, and Jamaica has been spared thus far. You understand? And I know that some persons take these things lightly, but this is just a wake up call and a lesson to us in Jamaica who love to say, Oh, every time them say hurricane I come, none no come here. So, me nah do this and me nah do that. Be careful, guys. You understand? But that is for our next time. It would be great as a nation if we, as a people, as a Country, as Jamaicans can come together put some stuff together whatever it is whether it is food whether it is water whether it is shoes whether it is clothes tarpaulin anything at all that we can put together that we don't need immediately at this point in time that we could send to our Caribbean neighbors and brothers and sisters to help them in their time of I don't even know the time of what this is this is really desolation this is really destruction this is just sad you understand so everybody um would must have something that they would be able to contribute a tin of food anything at all you understand it would be it would be great as a nation if we could do this for these um people for our brothers our neighbors our sisters in the region so people get get up and moving now you understand because jamaica is not safe jamaica is as exposed as these countries and 
to be hit by category 4 category 5 systems repeatedly within the space of 10 or so days it that is almost cataclysmic you understand these um, the systems have the potential to set back a country economically a hundred or so years infrastructurally a hundred or so these are massive massive um disasters and we need to see how best we can help our brothers and sisters so people get moving now manners and respect to all my dominican brothers and sisters stay strong um i know it will be difficult to pick up the pieces but time heals everything and hopefully the death toll don't become too high we know at this point in time it is at 50 we know it will it will rise but hopefully it doesn't get too high and uh, we will try to see our best as a nation we can help because people really need for help you understand me i say talk to you soon thank you for watching the video drop a like and a comment down below and consider subscribing if you haven't done so as yet until next time what good